Well, a young Colorado seventh grader takes a stand each Friday demanding action on climate change. She joined thousands of other kids in our nation's capital and around the world last Friday. And today she was at it again at our state's capital. That is where our Joel Hillen is tonight. Joel, this young woman really kind of gaining some national attention and support. Dominic, she's already co-founded a nationwide youth organization. She's been interviewed on uh, national television network programs. And her mother told me this morning that Rolling Stone magazine has reached out to her to write an article. I know that we don't have any really like legal power and stuff like that, but we still we have the power of our voice. Every Friday, seventh grader Haven Coleman sits on the west steps of the state capitol, advocating for adults to do something about climate change. We had so much time, decades of time, but adults still didn't use that time because they thought they procrastinated. Adults procrastinated on lives. Haven says she was inspired by a project in her fifth grade social studies class where she learned about deforestation. There's a lot of whoa moments. Then last year, a 16 year old Swedish climate activists started school strikes for climate outside Swedish Parliament. She has made tidal waves of change. It's so phenomenal. Haven joined two other teen girls in creating the U.S. Youth Climate Strike Organization and is set it's on like making they, waves of her own. It's not like kids just want lollipops. No, we want fundamental human rights. She feels those rights include a livable planet for our youth to inherit and is demanding nations commit to cutting fossil fuels in half over the next 10 years. We have the power of our voice. And as you've seen, our voices are so powerful. When we speak, adults listen. Adamic, part of that voice is going to be in this presidential campaign. They said right now they're in talks with the campaigns about having their own debate that'll be completely focused on climate. She's anxious to ask these candidates several questions. We're live at the state capitol. Joel Hillen covering Colorado First. Joel, thank you.